right, I'm heading into this place. I got a late start on it today. I had to work last night, all night. Um, had to give by a new rake and all kinds of stuff. I probably only got two hours a day to get fat. But I'm gonna start in here where I left off and move around a little bit, see if I can't find some nice marbles. Later, I'll get back on my first one. All right, I just got another perfect Mountain Dew. Second day in a row, one of these. It's perfect. It's got the, the hillbilly on it there, shooting the rifle in the outhouse. It's all there, it'll tickle your innards. It's just absolutely perfect. You know, this is a $10 bottle. So, we'll take that. Later. All right, I moved spots from where I've been. I'm looking maybe for some older stuff. And I'm on this big, this mound's all trash. And there's another cork prescription bottle. That's older. You know, I'd say it's 30s at newest. So, I'll try in here a while. I just, this is the first bottle I, I raked out. Me and my hands are cold today. It's freezing. Sun's out and stuff, but it's getting later in the day. It's getting cold, man. Later. See, this is an older aqua beer bottle. You can tell by the base. It's got a big H on it. Um, it's older. You know, that's right before Prohibition or right after. I'd say it's right before. No embossing now. Huh. There's a few older things in here. Later. I don't know that I've ever found a glass shot glass like this. It's got measuring lines on both sides. I'll take that. It's kind of cool. Later. I got a marble in the hole. It looks pretty decent. I can't tell what it is. I haven't looked at it yet. But here's some of the stuff I'm pulling out of here. That's an old cheese bro jar, but it's just not embossed. It's embossed on the bottom. It's a variant I've never found. Um, that shot glass. I found this little green container. I don't remember ever finding a green one. I found blue ones like that. Um, Where's it at? Yeah, there was a Charleston, West Virginia Coke here, but it was broke. But right here's a marble. It looks like it might just be a Marble King. I think it is. Or wait. It's kind of nice. Um, it's a little different green one. It's got some clear base in it. It's not bad. It's real nice condition. Later, I'll get back on my next all right, I raked out another little marble. It just, it's one of these red ones. It's just an average one, I think. Yeah, but it's nice. It'll look great in that frame. I needed another handful. Any place I dig, you can see I find marbles. There's later trash in here. Saw them few older bottles. Um, but I'm hoping to get onto a pocket of alley agates. That's why I'm trying to find older bottles. I can care less about the older bottles. I like the milks and the masons, but only so so it's just my favorite things is the marbles i'll get back if i see any more hopefully i can find some alley swirls or ravenswood swirls something cool christensen's acros that's what i'm looking for later i got another one here just minutes later um it just looks like a marble king cat eye which is just a common thing it is it's real nice condition though but hopefully I can get into the swirls, like I said. I'll get back. Started raking this back, and just I just found that cat eye, that Marble King one in the last clip. Started raking this back, what I had pulled down, and there's an awesome two-color cat eye. It looks like it has yellow tips. See what we got. Oh, this is awesome. It's pumpkin orange with yellow tips. That's a beauty. Let me wipe it off and show you. You know, that's pretty nice. Real nice condition. It's pumpkin orange and yellow. Two color cat eye. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Nicest one so far. Later. Well, folks, I got another place to dig marbles for sure. They're in here. They're in the upper layers, just like every place else. So I'm going to have to dig the upper layers first. And then if there are armor old bottles like this, I'll come back. But you see it? This looks awfully nice. It looks like a swirl to me. And it looks like a lavender. Might be some kind of Ravenswood or an alley. See what we got. Oh, it's one of these purple swirls. It's probably a Ravenswood marble. Oh, it's beautiful. It's kind of got a peach base. Oh, this is what I'm looking for, folks. If I can get onto a bunch of these, it'll be just worth a month. All right, hold on. Let me wipe this off. 
Well, this has like a base that's not white. You can see it. It's like a peach purple color with a darker purple translucent swirl. That's a smoker. I don't know that I've ever found one of these purple swirls with a base that color. That's awesome. And it glows. It's like clear base. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully that's just what I'm, that's the kind of marbles I'm looking for. Frames full of them. Well, anyway, I'll get back if I see any more later. <clears throat> Sorry, my mouth's dry. Um, I got another one here. They're everywhere in here. This might turn out to be an awesome hole, but it's just a common one. It's a cleary. It's got a light blue tint with a couple bubbles in it there. It's a real nice condition there, so we'll put that in the pocket. I'll get back. I got another one. They're coming out of here pretty consistently. You can see, well, I guess that's a lot of digging, but a lot of raking, but not really for me. Looks like another one of them Marble Kings, them green ones. Oh, folks, it's not. It's an amazing alley agate. Oh, this is nice. These are the kind of marbles I'm looking for. Clear base with a real beautiful swirl. Hold on. I'm on it now. Well, this is just a beautiful marble. It's got like seaweed green with, I don't know, kind of frog light chartreuse almost with blue, then a clear base swirl. It's just wet mint. Look at these windows going into it. Oh, I love it. Um, I'm gonna take a drink break and do some more in here. It, like I said, when I got here, I had to work all night. I'm exhausted. I'm having me a cherry Coke and I'm raking back, kind of taking a drink and raking back through my piles and I missed this one. And you can see why, do you see it? See if you can locate the marble right here. Looks like another cat eye. It is just like that last one I found earlier in this video. I'm gonna stay a few more minutes. It's getting later in the day. Later. All right, just like a minute after my drink break, I'm really in nice layers. I got this walled off now. I can come back on the day I have longer. Dig all, you no, know, right where the marbles are at in the layer. I just raked out another one. Right here. Oh, it's a two color blue cat eye. It's baby blue and like gray almost. Look at that real dark strip of blue in that. Real nice condition. Man, there's nice marbles in here, folks. Let me wipe this off and show you. And then there'll be a part two to this video. Um, I'll show you the marbles all at the end too. Later. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice. Real blues and whites and gray. That's nice, nice condition too. That's rust staining from being in the ground. That spot there, that'll come right off after I soak it. <laughs> How I locate these marbles. I got another one down here. Looks pretty decent. Um, I find the layers with them in it and I get this wall going. You saw them bottles earlier. There's some older stuff here. Um, not a lot, but it's down deep. I follow the layer with the marbles in them. Um, it's usually late 30s to mid 60s trash. A lot of people won't dig that, but I will, because I know what's in it. And right here's another one. And every kid had these. Oh, it's a nice, it's another two color cat eye. Man, they're all two colors. They're probably all St. Mary's West Virginia Marble King, these cat eyes. It burnt down, so this is a white cat eye with teal tips on it. You can, I think you can see that. It's pretty, it's wet mint. The marbles are just immaculate condition in here. Um, wow, I'm on a honey hole now. Um, with these swirls in it, that's what I'm looking for, is them swirl marbles. And I'm way down over the hill. I'm way off the main part of the dump I've been digging. You can see the trash is even going down in there. The layer is not real thick, but it it went thicker down here at the base of this hill. I'll get back on my next one. Another one. The layer with the marbles in it's right through here. And it'll go all the way around this hill. 
there's another Cleary. It's kind of got an aqua tint to it. It's probably a Marble King Cleary, but it could have been made by other factories. But look at the condition. There's no play wear, no chips, no cracks. All of them are like this. And that's condition with everything on anything you find. I'll get back. And I tried to do some live raking here for a few and see if we can't pop one out. I'm finding them pretty consistently. Ooh, what's that? Oh, fix, there's a shooter. All right, this is the third time I've turned this on. The first time it went a couple minutes, so I turned it off. Look, oh, it's broke. What a bummer. First breaking marble, and it's gotta be a big, and it's even cr cracked. Some kid was really playing with that. Look at the big chip out of it, stink. I'll turn it back on here in a minute. That sucks. Later. I've been digging up in there. I came down off this and started raking under these leaves and popped a marble out immediately. And it's a Marble King Rainbow. That's what it is. It's probably St. Mary's West Virginia Marble King Factory, which burnt down. Real nice condition. That's a pretty one. You know, just an average marble. Maybe worth 75 cents to a dollar. These swirls are superior. But this is nice. Later. Yeah, I've been trying to do live clips live digging and live finds like that shooter and i just turned it off and took one rake after i had it on five minutes and got a marble immediately it's another one of them orange cat eyes orangey red it's real nice condition just an average one but we got some good ones but found a good many of these again today too that's like the fifth or sixth one see there's acl bottles coming out up here later man I'm glad I came out. I don't have much longer to dig. It's going to be dark. But you see it? Marble King Bumblebee. Looks nice. This is a good one for that frame. I didn't find many of these last month or two. Oh, it's nice. There's marbles everywhere in here, folks, and I've never dug on this side of this hill. Look at that. It's all blended right in there. Look at that, it's got red, different colors of purple. It's really nice, really nice condition, which matters on everything you find, arrowheads, anything you collect. Look at that, man. All right, I'll get back. That's kind of cool, it's a plastic gun and it, that even opens and closes. It's, it's made by Tiger and it's called an automatic, Tiger automatic, I'm gonna take it using silver bullets is what it says right there using silver pellet pellets silver pellets that's cool Later. you know this layer this is, came right off the top with that gun it's a boot i'm gonna take it you know that's new that's 60s but there's stuff it's older deeper i just found another this is a 1926 beer bottle. It has 26 on the bottom. That's an older one. You can see. Um, I'll get back. Getting fooled by these a lot, these acorns. But I got another marble. I was right up in there. I think I was going higher. But I think the main concentration of something is going down the hill. Huh. It's crazy. Here's another one right here. It just looks like a cat eye. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's real nice, actually. Real nice condition. Look at that. Looks like a vitro cat eye banana. It's got like a weird cloudy base on it there with bubbles in it. It's pretty nice. Later. Here's another one. It's just an average one. It looks like it's another cat eye, but a little bigger than average. Just beautiful condition. And there's old swirls in here, too, so... This is a honey hole. Um, if you like marble digging, and you know the stray odd finds, and it's hard to tell what I'm, it's gonna pop out of here. I've only dug this little area. I haven't gone deep yet. I'm gonna dig the marbles first. If you like it, subscribe. I'll be doing this a bunch. Later. See, that's the base off of a real old amber bottle. 
might be a big beer. It's embossed with a four right there. I don't see any. I can't. It just didn't have enough of it. But man, that would have been beautiful. But usually I'm up here for hours, and you know, for six to ten marbles is what I'm shooting for. I haven't been here hours. I haven't been here that long at all. Yeah, I get, like I said, I got a late start, and there's another one right here. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, folks, this might be the nicest one. Look at this. Oh, folks, I'm on fire. This is nuts. Look at that. Hold on. All right, folks, this is sick. Look at that white with red. Two color cat eye, and it's even like ruby on this side. Oh, that is outstanding. And it's wet mint. Oh, that's beautiful. That is awesome. W look at that right there. Whoo. Man, I am on it now. We're going to be able to make some good marble digging videos in here later. All right, here's this marble from the previous clip. Look at that. A beauty. Thought I'd show you with this good camera. You can really see what you got there. Awesome find. Later. Well, the luck continues. Look at this. It says Lucky Horseshoe. And it's even embossed up with stuff on the other side. And I completely, it's got a little bend to it, but it's rubber. And it says Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers Lucky Horseshoe. How cool is that? And it feels like Bakelite plastic. You know, Roy Rogers stuff, it's been a while since they've made that. Maybe this came with a Roy Rogers cap gun set or something, but that's pretty cool. And to find all them marbles, um, wow, Roy Rogers. I found many broken ones today, but these cat eyes are prone to this kind of fracture um, when you're getting them in the ground. It's broke right in half. Later. Gordon's gin bottle, which Gordon's on the side. This is one of the latest ones they made, but it's still pretty cool. It's worth a couple dollars. Um, not bad. I'll take that. Well, you'll run into this too. That's a marble, but it's melted. It looks like a vitro agate. It would have been blue on one side, kind of orange is red with a white strip around it. That's a shame. It's all melted just fuck from a fire in this dump. Later. These things are coming out every few minutes. These blue bottles, I take them all and trade them. They're worth at least a dollar a piece in big ones. Later. I think it says 56 or 58 on it. Wait. 60. 1960. Crass. Delicious beverage. It's a pretty green bottle, but the ACL's all messed up. I pulled it out right there on the side of this hill. But, you know, any place I'm digging in here, there's marbles. I raked this one out right up almost on the surface. It looks like a vitro agate with purple. It looks nice. Yes. It's a vitro made in Parkersburg, and that lavender purple is really nice on it. It's got rust staining, but that's wet mint. Later. I've been here right around probably close to two hours and I mean I'm just finding marbles consistently um, look at that there's another yellow cat I just an average one but still you know man 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 fakes all right here's what I got here in a few hours and I got you know the Mountain Dew lots of blue bottles um, that Roy Rogers thing see there's lots of more blue bottles some of these beer bottles are older they're right before pre-prohibition See, there's a Stratford Springs bottle there with ACL on it. Um, there's some decent stuff. The blue bottles are real nice. I got lots of different sizes of them there. That Gordon's. I got another pile of blue bottles down the hill there. But marbles is what I'm looking for, and I got some smakers. That red and white cat eye is awesome. That swirl right there, that swirl there. I got the bumblebee, several other nice marbles. We'll look at the frame. I'm working on after I get these cleaned up. It was a success. I got another place to dig marbles. So I'll be getting a lot of videos. Up further the hill, I got a place opened up. I got a place opened up on another dump. Um, we're in business for videos, lots of videos. 
and I'll be area head hunting as well, looking for ancient Native American artifacts. Later, folks, when I get home, I'll show you the frame and these cleaned up, the nicest ones. Later. All right, see all that metal and stuff? That dump goes down three more flats all the way around this hill for, I don't know, a mile. And it's a fourth of a mile wide. Look at all this stuff. You can really see it with the leaves off. You see there's porcelain stuff down there, pieces of cars. And this whole hill has marbles on it. And smalls and bottles, right? About six inches below the surface. I just wanted to show you a nice view out here. All the leaves are off. It's freezing today. I'm cold. I'm going home. We'll clean up the marbles. Look at some of these. Look at that swirl in that these little dark spots are just rust staining i haven't cleaned none of these up yet i have to hurry up and do this because it's going to be dark very shortly that nice swirl that's a beauty purple with a real odd colored base and then all these other ones see there's the marble king it's still got dirt all over it but look at that blending real cool it's got even red right in there and some of these other cat eyes are pretty decent too. That's got like teal and white. There's some decent marbles here and I wasn't there that long. Not normally what I usually stay. But these three right there are scorchers. Anyway, thanks for watching folks. I'll get back up there so make sure you subscribe. Love. Well folks, we've about accomplished it. You've watched me dig all these on here. Look at that blue swirl from the last trip. That thing's sick. There's that red and white cat eye right there from this one. There's a lot of nice marbles in here. A lot of variety. There's these two green with the brown tip cat eyes. I just found another one yesterday. There's the bumblebee from today and I got two other ones in this frame. There's a little peewees. There's lots of cool marbles. Um, Right there's that purple swirl from today. There's just lots of unique marbles. So we're almost there. One more trip up to the spot I'm in. See, I got a few places I need to put a few more. One more handful. This frame's ready to put up. So we accomplished it. I appreciate you watching. I just wanted to share this. Later. <laughs>